Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates. So, you know, this is being recorded for the 18th, but the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, so keep that in mind. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to go ahead and get started. What do we have for a message today? What kind of message do we have today? For the upcoming days, let's say that. For the upcoming days, what is what's happening? What's happening? The world, the world is changing. Yes, it is. So this is a completion. It's the, this is the end of an era, and that's a fact. Okay, it's the end of an era. It's the end of uh, the world as we know it, right? It's the end of a cycle. This is a major completion. This is leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. It's freedom, success, going with the flow, going down a new path, traveling to a new destination. Totally, totally leaving something behind. Not looking back either. Somebody is very much focused on the future. They've made up their mind. This is this is this person's mind is made up. They're not looking back for any reason. This is completing one phase, one project, something that was very significant that taught you a lesson. Lesson learned. Time to move on. So this is this is truly ending a project of some sort, something you've been working on. It's over, it's done, there's no reason to stay there, right? So this is a major completion. It's the end of a journey. It's the end of a of a cycle, okay? It is. It's the last card along the journey. It means that somebody has completed that life lesson. Move on to the next. Time to move on to the next. King of Cups reversed. So it could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but the King of Cups reversed is unable to master emotions or very cold and withdrawn, not really communicating, um, a lack of communication, lack of emotional availability, a lack of emotional content. Closed off emotionally. Hmm. High Priestess. Now the High Priestess is an intuitive, uh, a keeper of secrets. So we got some sort of secret here. Somebody is keeping a secret. Maybe about their feelings. Who knows? Uh, now the, the 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 high priestess is a very seductive energy, very very alluring, very mysterious. Hmm. Somebody's somebody's keeping a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. Hmm. Let me just focus this in a little bit. Whoop, whoop. Eight of Wands message. You see how that flipped? Isn't that funny? That that flipped in weird. So this is a this is a news arriving. There's going to be some news arriving. It's gonna it's going to be well a message. A message is arriving. Maybe several messages. Somebody's going to be receiving some messages. Let's see what kind of news that it is. It could be emotional. Okay, there could be some tears shed. Somebody may have been sensing that some news was going to arrive. Maybe it's about an ending because the world card is an ending. So there is some sort of uh, news that is arriving that may have been 
you know, sensed, because the, the high priestess has a sixth sense, you know? Now, this is some sort of emotional withdrawal or something like that. Well, detaching. Somebody is detaching emotionally. They are detaching. They may have already detached. Oh, two cards. Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. Now, the Ace of Cups is about love. Okay, it's, an, it's a flood of emotion. It's feelings. A lot of feelings. Six of Wands, making progress. Being urged to do something. A lot of support. Somebody is getting a lot of support. They're going to get a lot of support. There is There could be some public recognition that is coming up in the near future that is very... Um, emotional now this is heartfelt okay there could be some heartfelt communication that is coming in we may have somebody here that is sad okay with the can of cups reverse but anyway the six of wands is uh, somebody that has already been through some sort of battle they're done fighting it's a time it's time of victory and we, we do have victory here because of this world card this is a, an accomplishment. Somebody has accomplished something or they, they've, they've, they're overcoming something. Now this is victory after sorrow. So there could be some sort of, there may have been a fight or there may have been a battle or there has been some sort of stiff competition, but it's over. Somebody's going to be receiving good news. I don't think it's bad news. Or they're going to be receiving messages from somebody that is, doesn't want to fight anymore. Somebody may be expressing their feelings. You know, they may be opening their heart, whereas their heart was closed off with the King of Cups reversed. Somebody could be extending an offer of love, okay, with the, some, definitely. We may have somebody here that is very brave, very courageous. You know, this person is a fighter. They have a lot of experience behind their back. Somebody may be expressing their love. They could, I don't know if they're singing a song or telling somebody on social media or telling the whole world or some, somebody could be telling the whole world something because this is the world. Um, so the whole world may get some sort of news. Okay, just saying. I don't know who that's for. But there is some sort of news that is coming. It's been kept hidden. It's been a secret. Okay, so there's some news that is that is about to be... I feel like it's about to be revealed. Something that has been hidden has about to be revealed. Now, the Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. Um, very, very emotional. We have a lot of intuition here as well. This is very highly intuitive and this as well. This is the gateway to intuition. So there's been somebody's intuition is guiding them. Okay? It's guide and there's other there's people around that are supporting them. They're getting a lot of support. There's going to be a victory here. It's the end of a and I'm putting these right here. So this is the this is the end of a battle of some sort. It is. It's the end of a battle. This is very courageous. This is a very courageous, confident, determined individual that is, you know, hard, done fighting. Absolutely. And this is moving forward. And this one is too. So somebody is moving forward. Something to do with their heart as well. This is things getting better. There could be a new start here. A new... A very new emotional you know it's very emotional there is going to be a new start because this is the end of one chapter and this is the beginning endings lead to new beginnings the aces are new beginnings this is an ending so we do have an ending all obviously it leads to a new beginning so this is an emotionally fulfilling beginning okay that will make you very 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 happy but you have to Go down that path and not look back at what you've been fighting. Somebody's been fighting something. Maybe their feelings. But there's been a lot of emotional discontent with the King of Cups reverse. Somebody has been um, detaching. They've been withdrawn. They have been unable to communicate. 
they've but their gut has been speaking to them you know they've been keeping a seal a secret about their feelings or something like that or or pushing them down may push maybe pushing pushing their feelings down um ignoring their feelings um but this is the end okay this is the end it is the end somebody there could be some sadness here just saying But I feel like good news is arriving. Some sort. It's interesting. So there is because this is this is definitely good news. Empress. Yes. So yes, there there is some sort of birth of a new life, right? This is a this is a birth. It's 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 the birth of a new life. Okay, this is the end and this is the beginning. So we have, we have, this is a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. It's a time of abundance. Now the Empress is all about love, you know, unconditional love. Somebody may be going after, it's like somebody is going after unconditional love. I feel like, I feel like that's the, that's the move that they're making. You know, they're all done fighting because we above the, before the five, six of wands, the five of wands, they've been playing games, you know, may, may have been a player, you know, but they've learned some sort of lesson. They've Somebody's learned a lesson with that world card. They're turning their back. They're turning their back and they're making a move. They're going down a new path. Now, the Empress is is all about mothering. So we have a we have a. A mother here or somebody that is very motherly that is very capable of taking care of another person so we also we could have a we could have a mother who whose gut we have a mother whose gut is speaking to them and telling them that they are dealing with somebody that you know doesn't have good intentions okay so if you are a mother and you have a child and you, your gut is telling you that somebody doesn't have good intentions. I suggest you listen to it. Please. Because I'm just telling you right now. From experience. If your gut says that something is off. Listen. A lesson will be learned. So anyway, there is a new start in love here. There is a new life that is about to begin. Okay? It, it is. It is. Somebody doesn't have good intentions and you need to listen to your gut. I know I'm repeating myself, but it needs to be said. This is ending a cycle. Following your heart. Following your intuition. There is an opportunity for, for love here in abundance. There is. There is somebody in this scenario that is highly respected. They don't give up. This is this is somebody that um, is very skilled at you know finishing things. This is somebody who finishes the things that they start. So there's somebody here that is. Um, determined to be successful they are de this is a determined individual you may need to find your determination to turn your back on whatever it is you've been fighting you know just end the war right act in love it's all about love okay it's all about emotional fulfillment Fighting doesn't do anything, and be, like I said before, this is a, it's a it's, there's it's, there's been a fight, there's been a competition, you know, and this is ending it. So it's time to end the fight, end the competition, you know. It's all about love. Now we are moving into, you know, the age of Aquarius, right? Which is all about love, right? 
It's not about fighting anymore. And the Empress is all about love. It's about nurturing, caring, giving, without expectation. It's about demonstrating love. So yeah, it is the end of an era, isn't it? Because there's been a lot of animosity and there's been a lot of fighting and there's been a lot of competition. And people have been ignoring their heart and ignoring their feelings because of the social pressure. And you're being urged to use your heart. in your gut. Somebody's intuition is really, really speaking to them. Seriously. So anyway, I also, and I'm going to change this up a little bit. We do have messages coming in back and forth. Okay. Um, there's one person here that um, is very abundant, has many, many options. The Empress has many options. She's, she, everybody wants the Empress, so she's, she has, she's, she'll get the help that she needs. People will flock to help her. And there is people flocking to help her. So there is somebody here that is, is maybe, I don't know where that came from, but this is a flock, right? It's a bunch of people to the Empress. So we have, we have a very beautiful woman here that is, or it's a feminine energy that is going to be getting some love by the looks of things. This person has been selfless. Or this person is looking for love. Now this is a very protective mother as well. So we may have a mother here that is protecting her child or needs to. Anyhow. This is the end of a cycle. The fighting, the battle, if it's not over yet, it's, it's going to end very, very soon. There's some sort of deep, deep, deep feelings here. Somebody knows something. They know something deep down about whoever they're dealing with. They know that they're dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Listen to your gut. This is a yes answer. It is. You know. Yes, you know. Now, this is messages. So there's some sort of messages going on. Some sort of communication. Somebody may be communicating with somebody um, secretly. Because this is a very secret. They may be communicating secretly with another person. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is love. Okay, this is this is a, a welcome message of love. Somebody may be expressing their feelings, maybe after they were hiding them for some of you. This is an expression of love. This is this is also very emotional. So it's going to be an emotional time. This is a birth. There could be news of a child or something about a child. Okay. I 
think it's going to be very, very emotional. Something is about to be revealed that really makes somebody emotional. And it, and it could be happy news. So there could be a secret admirer here. This is a secret. This is an admirer. Okay. There could be. There could be somebody or somebody that has been hiding their feelings. You know, they haven't spoken up. But, you know, somebody may be flirting or expressing their, their feelings, you know, or showing their feelings, even if it's a little bit. Page of Cups is uh, a message is coming your way. It's it's probably gonna it could be bring you tears of joy even. Um, feels like it's a happy good message. You may have sensed it was coming. A magician. This is a yes answer as well. There could be news as well. There could be something that is put on the news if this is public. Because this is public and this is news. So something could be publicized. Okay? Just saying. If there's somebody's been hiding something, it could become made public. Just saying. Anyway, this is yes, take action. Do whatever it takes to bring success. You have a divine connection. You, this is a golden opportunity. What do you want? Go for it. Just do it. You have to be willing to shed the old and bring in the new. You are very capable. You have all the power. You have all the resources to be successful. Somebody is being divinely guided. I feel like there's divine guidance here. They're being divinely guided. Listen to your gut. Really pay attention. Observe. Observe is big here. Observe and pay attention. Really, really pay attention. We may be dealing with somebody that is very sneaky. A trickster, okay? We could have a trickster here that is hiding something. You know, they have some sort of tricks up their sleeve or they have a secret agenda or somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. I'm just being honest. A magician is very skilled at man manipulation. So we definitely have a manipulator here that hasn't been uh, expressing their feelings or they've been hiding their feelings or they're just withdrawn, they're cold-hearted, whatever, and somebody's gut is telling them and they're not listening. Hmm. And it may not be good for the children. Anyhow. Yes. You have the power. You know. You know the answer. Anyhow. So I know this message it has several different aspects to it, but that's the way it goes. I mean, we have, what, 15,000 people that watch this? There's going to be different circumstances. We do have an express expression of feelings here, whether it's tears or it's happy news or whatever. Okay, there's going to be an expression of feelings. It's going to be a very emotional time. There's an opportunity for a new life. There is, but you have to take action. You, This is take action. It is. We definitely have a divine connection. We have somebody here that is very gifted. Very gifted. And they know something. You know, their, their sixth sense, like I said, knows that somebody is up to no good. Justice is on the bottom. Wonderful. So we know justice. Justice is the truth. It's accepting the truth. It's seeing the truth. It's being honest and upfront. This is truths being revealed and responsibility being assigned. This is also this is also making a decision. 
There's consequences for the decisions and the choices that you make. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. There's, there's, as far as the justice system goes or the court goes, there is no, or the universe, there is no toleration for lies. Okay, it looks like there is a decision that will be made. There could be news of legalities as well. This is also a card of karma and justice being served. You know, I'm, I'm wondering if somebody's going to end up in court. They may end up before a judge. Or this could just be karma. This is a, a, something, a fair and just decision. There could be news of, um, well, I said it already. I think I did anyway. News of legalities, you know, something to do with court. The truth coming out. The truth is going to come out. Somebody's been hiding something and the truth is about to come out. Because it's a time of love. It's a lo time of emotional fulfillment. It's a time to be happy. It's time for this new era. So get prepared for some sort of truth to come out that causes a completion. Okay? It causes a major ending. Because that is the first card out. And it brings about a new life. But you think about the Empress, she don't she don't get that new life. She don't get that miracle until she experiences pain. And there ain't no way of getting around that pain. So there is some sort of pain that comes, because this is victory after sorrow, that comes with whatever this this goodbye. Because the world card is a goodbye. So get prepared to well, you will need to listen to your gut. And do whatever you need to do to bring success to your life. If you don't listen to your gut, there's going to be some consequences. Okay? Good luck.